Hey, it's Dave Salvadore of Blue Line Design. Thanks for coming back to my channel where this week I'm starting my new series on my big Blood Bowl board build. <laughs> This week I start the series by sharing my design process, so let's get right into it. The first part of any big project is to sit down and figure out what exactly you're going to build. It's so much easier to figure things out in drawings than it is in materials. The first night of this project, I honestly lost some sleep trying to figure out how in the world am I gonna build this thing. Whenever you have a big project like this, you need to break it up into smaller chunks. So for this first part, I think of only how the thing is going to be built. I'm not really thinking of details or stylization or design or anything like that. It's how is this thing going to be constructed? I'm going to incorporate magnets around the field so that you can attach any kind of detailing or themed elements that you want around it. You could get really crazy with ideas. You could make it an ice theme, a dungeon. You could even make it out of lava rock if you wanted to. I thought Aztec block ruins would look really cool with vines and everything painted in a creamy white. Might be a nice contrast with the field. I was really excited about this idea. I definitely was dungeoned out from my Hero Quest build, so this might be a nice change. So again, once you chunk down your thinking into bite-sized pieces, you can concentrate on each part of it instead of being overwhelmed by every part of it. And I don't have to figure out every single thing in this thumbnail. You're mainly just taking notes and getting out ideas, and then you will develop that further as you begin to get into the proper concept drawing. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna work out the skulls and logo in the center of the field, but I have some ideas. With the idea out of my system, I can now concentrate on doing a proper concept drawing using Procreate on my iPad. I wanted to raise the board up off of the table so that I could create the dugouts level with it to give it some depth, as if you're walking down into them. And I'm gonna make them about the same height as the dungeon walls that I built for Hero Quest. I then begin to design the Aztec themed border that is gonna go around the entire arena. This reference image that I found gave me great inspiration. Once the loose sketch was done, I then converted it into a light blue so that I could begin to ink on top of it. The inking phase of the design process helps you to develop ideas further and it also makes it clearer for your audience to see your idea. With the concept cleaned up, I'm now ready to move on to the coloring phase of the design process. While coloring, I use a lot of sponge and textured brushes to add some grit and grime to the board. And I add some highlighting to begin to develop the blocks that are extruded out from the Aztec ruins. I'm already thinking of vines and moss and growth all over the ruins to add more life to it. Whenever I have an idea, I make sure to take a quick little note so that I remind myself while I'm building this of what I was thinking. I'm already looking forward to figuring out how to make the turf and the muddy field. I think adding the details to the dugout is going to be a lot of fun. Here's a completed concept. There's going to be a link in the description below if you want to download it and check it out yourself. I printed out the concept and mounted it to some foam board. I've already got my XPS foam and I'm really excited to start this build. So I hope you enjoyed watching the first part in this series. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like or subscribe button, it really helped me out. Next week, I'm gonna share with you the beginning of the build. Until next time, keep drawing, keep designing.